Calendly tutorial. Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to be telling you about Calendly and I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Calendly, how you can set it up, all its features and how much it costs and how easy it is to use. So let's get into it. Now Calendly, there are a couple of ways you can use it. You can use it with your Google account or your Microsoft account. It totally depends on you. The sign up is going to be free. No need to go ahead and purchase it. There's a pricing plan, but we'll get into that at the end of the video. And it's pretty simple there's a bunch of options you can add your availability connect conferencing tools you can customize specific events and share your scheduling link down below you can see a multitude of different applications that you can connect calendly to like zoom salesforce slack teams uh, outlook integrations we also have this uh, webex integration hubspot and a bunch of other ones that you can go out and connect it to and it's pretty cool and yeah let's get into it so the sign up process is actually pretty simple you can just simply click on the sign up for free over here and then you can go ahead and sign up with google i recommend going with google as you can go ahead and connect your google account with it and it'll automatically connect your calendar account with it and sync all of the events that you might have so click on sign up with google select your account and click on continue agree to their terms and services and click on continue and now they will be able to see the calendar and all of your events that you have added on that calendar so there we go so setting it up is actually as simple as this you get five questions how do you plan on using cleanly on my own with my team go with on my own click on next and what is your role go with whatever option best suits you or best describes you uh, i'll just go with education and click on next and set up your calendar here you can select your calendar you can see it's already connected and you can select your accounts over here you can add other accounts and you can change the account over here delete or declining an event in your calendar will also cancel it in calendly as well so keep that in mind i'll check that and then click on next and here we go so these are going to be your week hours that you are available on uh, nine to five you can go ahead and add them over here you can add new intervals over here you can copy and paste them as it is time zones are down below and click on next and now you can go ahead and select which option you want you, you you can go with zoom you'd have to connect it with google meet since we're already connecting our google account we don't need to go ahead and connect it if we select microsoft teams got to connect it in person phone call whatever option you want for now we'll go with google meets i'll show you how you can connect the other two later on so we'll click on continue and we are good to go so here we go so this is how it looks like it's as simple as that this is going to be a pre-made event that you can go ahead and see over here you can share it check it out see and how it is and it's as simple as that on the left hand side you will have all of your options like for example events calendars meetings availability you have your contacts as well you have your workflow and application and integrations are going to be available here and down below you have your routing and here in the plus button you can go ahead and create events so let's go over it one by one so here in the events this is already created right uh if i open it up we can see it's a 30 minute meeting, 30 minutes one on one. We can view the booking page over here, copy it. We can see the date range, the location and hosting as well, right? And if we want to create a new event, we just simply click on the plus button over here. We can create event types, the multiple types. There's a one on one, a group meeting and a round robin, which means that one invite and then it just goes one by one. The next person comes in kind of like an interview, right? Between team members, you can distribute meetings between team members. That's what basically it is. You can see right here, this is the get started option where you can go ahead and get to know Calendly. You can go ahead and schedule over here, perfect scheduling, automate meetings, uh, use Calendly with a team and stuff like that. So we'll just close this up as of right now. And yeah, so let's go ahead and create a new option. We can see right here they have other options as well like admin templates these are one-on-ones and group templates and uh more ways to meet it's like a collective one-off meeting and a meeting poll where you can go ahead and let invitees vote on a time and a place to meet as well so it's pretty cool select whichever option you want let's go with a host meeting we're going to invite multiple people over here there's going to be a new meeting here you can go ahead and name it give it a new type let's say this is a team meeting and you can go ahead and set the duration so it's 30 minutes let's go with a custom or actually go with an hour 60 minutes location here you can go with zoom phone call in person and if you select all option we got more than option if i select zoom 
we can go ahead and connect the zoom via this button right here and we can select it. availability invitee over here so you can set a max invitee for groups uh, you can select over here display remaining spots as well and we can select the availability but for now we should be good to go and then we just simply click on create if we click on more option we can see we got more options as well so here we can see we get descriptions limits and buffers free busy rules uh, booking pages invite forms payments and notifications and confirmation page as well this is how it looks like but i think this looks okay uh, in the description we can set the description of the meeting limits and buffers we can set time buffers as well and set time limit uh, we can select rules and add them booking pages and everything totally depends on you so in the booking page you can select team over here this is going to be the link where you can see them uh, start time is the increments over here and you can go with automatically detect and show the times in which invitees time zones or lock the time zone best for in persons uh, we can see the invitee form you, you can create a form for invitees so join the meeting they can go ahead and fill out this form you can add multiple questions multiple lines uh, check boxes whatever you want you can add over here you can add new questions and stuff like that so please share anything over here and you can even connect payments by clicking on the payment section going to the integration and you can either go with stripe or paypal you can connect both of them to calendly account and you should be good to go but we'll go to and check that out at the end so for now we'll just click on save changes and we should be good to go so now if we go back now we need to go ahead and select zoom let's go ahead and connect zoom with the meeting so we'll click on connect zoom it's going to open up the integration over here where we have the calendly app and here we can connect zoom for my organization or connect zoom for myself let's go ahead and connect zoom for myself and we need to go ahead and log in into zoom i don't think i have an account on this email so i'll just go ahead and sign up quickly by selecting the email address all right so we now have a zoom account now i can go back to calendly and click on connect zoom for myself zoom is going to go ahead and authorize it so let's go ahead and allow this app and click on allow give it a couple of seconds and zoom is now connected to your account using that email and set up zoom as a location now we can go to events and manage integrations over here so now go to the calendly homepage, click on the gear icon for event types and select edit from the menu section and from location select zoom and we should be good to go so go to event types and here we have the team meeting now we can go ahead and click on this settings over here and over here we can also see location we have zoom available boom we can now good to go and that's how you create different meetings as well and you can go ahead and connect your integration and zoom account so over here on the left hand side you can see we have meetings in the meeting section we can see we don't have upcoming events or upcoming meetings here we can go ahead and switch the calendar between over here you can see that and here you can add view event types and you can see the meetings right here so over here upcoming pending past due you can see all of them are available over here availability over here you can set it contacts here you can go ahead and add a contact book your first meeting clicking on that button selecting a meeting and you, you can create it in the workflow section here you can go ahead and automate your meeting communications so you can go ahead and just quickly automate everything uh, you can go ahead and add email reminders to invitee text cancellation notification host send emails or thank you emails as well and then over here you've got integrations and applications where you can go ahead and select every single application you want so if you have let's say a google calendar you can connect it over here outlook calendar is going to be over here you can connect that as well uh, microsoft teams conference is going to be connected over here you can connect all of them it's pretty cool and then you have your routing options over here where you can create new routing so starting from scratch or import them from uh, one of the existing options like salesforce and stuff like that so yeah now let's go ahead and check out the get started section and you know finish it up so that we can get that out of the way we already know about this all right so here we go download a chrome extension there's also the extension as well let's go ahead and do that click on add and we can add that to our chrome and now it's going to go ahead and download there we go and now that it's downloaded let's go ahead and pin it over here and we should be good to go now we can go ahead and sign in we're already logged in and there we go so now we have the calendly uh, extension right here we can get started over here share events scheduling over here contacts everything available with the extension as well and now that that's out of the way now let's go ahead and use this and yeah i think we are good to go so again if you wanted to let's say ch change or connect other calendars for that we can go into the integration app and 
over here we have the outlook and the meetings right and if we click on show all we can see all of the applications that are available we even have the exchange calendar the 365 calendar as well so you can go ahead and check it out and install it so let's say we want to go ahead and click on the outlook calendar plugin click on that and we just go ahead and click on connect calendar account here we have the outlook 65 we click over here now it'll redirect us and we have to go ahead and log into the Microsoft account. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. And then you just simply go ahead and give it access and click on accept. And now your Outlook calendar is also connected and you are good to go. You can connect the other one as well by clicking on the add calendar and you can add the exchange calendar as well. So pretty cool, right? So now if we come over here and we can see my Calendly, here we can add seats and we can add users to over here as well. And also let's go ahead and check the availability over here. If we go ahead and click on create and let's go ahead and create one on one. And this is the new meeting right here. We can go ahead and select all options we can see microsoft teams as well we select teams we have to go ahead and connect them everything in the exact same way and if we go ahead and click on go to meeting or actually let's go ahead and change it to microsoft teams since we already need to go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and connect microsoft teams as well by clicking on that button click on integrate now and we should be good to go log in agree to their terms and services again let this access let this app access it and now we should be good to go does not support online meetings all right so we do need to create an account i forgot i don't have a account so let me go ahead and do that uh still it says the exact same thing so maybe this account is not worth it maybe it's because it's a brand new account and i don't have anything but maybe that's the problem but no it's still pretty old it should work i don't understand sometimes stuff like this happens and it's all right so it says right here i forgot let me check this again. Okay, so for this integration, you'll also need a 365 business account. So I don't have that. Maybe that's why. So there you have it. If you have a 365 account, you can use the Microsoft Teams conference. Although that's, I don't see why we would need to have that, but it is what it is. So there you have it. You would need that option right there in order for you to connect with Calendly. We've already connected Zoom. I've already shown you how you can go ahead and create meetings and event types. And yeah, the only thing left for us to do now is to actually go ahead and check out this meeting. So for example, this one right here, right? Click on save. This is the copy link, right? We have the copy. Let me go ahead and open it up in another tab. We go ahead and click on that link and copy that link. This is the meeting right here. This is the meeting calendar. This is how it would look like when someone has that link. We can see it has the uh, powered by Cleanly logo over here, but that can be removed by purchasing a plan. And you can see right here, this is the date right here. So if we select this date, uh, we can go ahead and fill out as the spot over here, two spots left on each of them. So by selecting that date, we now have to enter in the name. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we just add in our email address and we should be good to go. And after that, we can go ahead and fill out any other sources or anything else that we would might need to present. But yeah, I think this is okay. Then we can go ahead and schedule this event by clicking on that button. And now we are scheduled. So this is how it would look like. Now we can go ahead and open up the invitation and yeah. This is how it will look like over here. We need to go ahead and log in into Google. So now that that's done, I believe this is the one that I had it right. And this is the booking page right here. The one that we just uh, opened up. We can see over here, if we click on this slot, we can see there's only one slot left for the 6 a.m. meeting. And it's as simple as that. Now we should be able to see the contacts and everything else over here. We can see this is the contact right here. This is the contact that we just created and we have used this contact to book one of the meetings. We can see right here, book meeting and automatically connected everything. And we can see the meeting that is available over here. So this is the next meeting that is available. Click over here. We can see the details of this meeting right here. So everything is available right here and it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is how it would look like when someone goes ahead and books one of the slots and you can check them out over here you can check out ids invitee emails everything is going to be over here pending pass date range everything is going to be over here so pretty simple this was all the information you needed to know about calendly and how you can use it and as i said before it is free but there is a pricing plan so you can go ahead and buy it if you want to remove the power by calendly logo and maybe a few more options so for that let me just go ahead and show you if we go ahead and click on upgrade plan we can see 
see over here, these are the three plans that are available. We have the standard plan, teams, and the enterprise. The standard one is going to be $10 per seat per month, and the teams is going to be $16 per seat per month. This is, of course, billed yearly, so you do save up 20%. But if you go ahead and switch to bill monthly, it's going to be a little bit different. The price is going to increase. And here you can see these are all the core features that you would see right here. These are all the core features. Uh, free, you get meeting polls in all of them. You get one-on-ones, only one one-on-ones. One, you get infinite in other ones. You don't get group event types, collective event types, and round-robin event types in the free plan. You only get the robin round events in the teams and the enterprise. But in the standard one, you do get the collective, the group ones as well. And email notification is available in everything. Email notification for reminders and follow-up is only available in the standard and up. And you get customized workflow for all forms of notifications in the standard and up. You don't get much in the free plan. As I said before, it's a free plan. But you can see right here, most of these you might not even need. But I would recommend going with a standard one because most of these are pretty good. Like, for example, one-on-ones, more one-on-ones if you have like multiple meetings in a month then of course it is going to be useful to get the standard plan as well and right here you get the customization options you can see right here you remove cleanly branding in the standard one and up custom cancellation policy message and custom colors when you embed cleanly to a website so you can see right here pretty cool stuff uh, these are the team tools that are available you can see right here branding for the entire organization is only available in the teams and up you get analytics and insight in the standard and create sync and lock managed events to distribute across the organization you also get to integrate a few other options as well like for example you get to connect multiple calendars you can't do that in the free version you as i said before what we did was different we just connected one calendar so you can use one calendar at a time you can connect multiple but you can't use them all at once but you can use them in the standard and up create custom web hooks to get calendly meeting information you can connect stripe and paypal hubspot mailchimp and zapier auto automation platforms are available google analytics and metapixels for tracking conversion and booking connect salesforce and marketing as well so this one is only available in the teams option but as i said before most of these features are available for the standard one and the standard one is good enough for the everyday person security is also a big thing but yeah here you can see that uh, data deletion and compliances data detection sam automate and secure design all these are available in the enterprise you only get the first one in the standard so there you have it these were all the informations you needed to know about cleanly how you can use it and all the features and everything you needed to know about cleanly so there you have it that's how you do it that's how you can use cleanly as a beginner so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and we'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye